Yamaha has a vision for a sustainable future, and the company's culture encourages their employees to challenge themselves and to flourish. A word they've used to coin this concept is Hanasaka. In combination with Get My Boat, whose goal is to make boating globally more accessible, there's been a great alignment across the board with everything both brands want to do, and hence, they're the co-sponsors of the Joyride team. I'm Douglas Bird. I'm the Vice President of Sales at Get My Boat, and I run the Joyride Racing Team, which is our Corinthian sailing team that runs out of uh, Hampton Yacht Club. One, I think Joyride is a fantastic name for a boat that's fast and fun, but it really comes from Get My Boat's mascot, Joy, which is the dolphin that embodies all of the playfulness and fun that being on the water gives to people, and we want to do the same thing for boating and sailing with our team. So our boat is a Melgis 32. This particular boat used to be run by a professional team about 10 years ago and since then has been in the hands of a Corinthian team prior and now with the Joyride race team. The nice thing about the 32 is it still carries that thoroughbred um, pedigree, should I say. Uh, it's still very fast, very fun. Um, but we're able to sail it with people that may have just started sailing and still be competitive. So the team's goal is to enable Corinthian sailors, whether it's junior sailors, uh, fresh out of college, or anyone that's used to club racing, to be able to enjoy high performance racing at the club level, but at a point where they can move up into regatta and championship level. Um, and the nice thing about that is we want to remove all the barriers to entry that can exist in this sport. Typically as boats get faster, um, typically they get more expensive. And with that, and rightly so, the owner's uh, demands are they want to win. They've invested a lot of money. And I wanted the ability to still run a professional level team, but enable anybody to give it a go. And we regularly race against professional teams with very large budgets, and we win. And this year, we, we actually sailed with uh, people that had never been sailing before, people that have maybe gone sailing a few times in their life, were able to jump on board, come with us, uh, enjoy the ride, and uh, become part of the team. So Yamaha has a long history supporting sailing. Uh, they've been a supporter of the America's Cup for many years and recently announced as the primary marine sponsor for the current America's Cup. They also run the Yanmar Racing Team, uh, which is Peter Gilmore, um, and he races in the Dragon Professional class as well. And this is an extension of that, and in combination with Get My Boat, the idea is we're making boating and sailing more accessible and enabling people the opportunity to flourish. And that stems down to Yamaha's kind of cultural vision, which is giving people the tools to flourish. Uh, this year has been a great success. Uh, we put our learnings from last year into place and we won the Spring Series straight away. We then went straight into Southern Bay Race Week, which is our regional regatta. Uh, whilst we didn't win, uh, we had some really good results and certainly had the opportunity to do so. After that, there were a number of distance races, all of which we won including the Cape Henry Cup, the local Neptune Atlantic Cup, um, and the Founders Race, which is the kind of biggest trophy locally for the year. Um, moving into the Fall Series, we were second overall in the Fall Series, but cumulatively, we ended up winning uh, the High Point season overall. And that's the second year we've done that. I think the biggest challenge in sailing is twofold. It's accessibility and cost. Um, a lot of programs at a junior level are still very much run through uh, yacht clubs. Uh, yacht clubs come with a cost. Um, boats are expensive to buy and to run. And in order to really get into sailing a boat like the Melges 32, you have to already be very skilled. Um, so it becomes more and more difficult as time goes on. I think the biggest opportunity in sailing is to improve accessibility for people. Um, 
not just juniors, not just college sailors, but people that are out of college, uh, can't afford to buy or run a boat, but want to be involved in the sport.